The mission today is to move a, a cooker outlet over here. Um, so I've got access to the loft and I'm going to disconnect this, pull the wire, the cable up, uh, joint it and then we're going to start some interesting uh, drilling operation to <clears throat> ascertain the position of that coving. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do the coving uh, and then we're going to chase down to about here put you one in and the aim is to get it done today Ah, it's come through good. 
Wochen. Cemented in the 20mm conduits and around these fittings I've base plastered it and then filled it with a filler um, just to get it up to the wall uh, level uh, for putting those on. So it's ready to be plastered now on the rest of the chase. It's taken me a good hour to clean up um, with the chase produces a lot of dust but I uh, dust sheeted over most things, so um, I prevented uh, the majority of it. Um, so I've just got the ladder to take out, radio, all my chargers, and that's where I'll be in the van. That was a good day's work. Um, uh, it's 4.36 now. I got here at 9 o'clock or before, I think, and I've gone without a break. So, um, you know, that, the worst thing about that was just the bricks were so fucking hard. It took me fucking ages to get through those chases. Uh, so it wasn't, it wasn't a job I particularly relished at all, that chase. Um, as for the job yesterday, uh, which was um, the cooker, wasn't it? The cooker thing. Yeah, I said I'd charge her the thick end of 300 on that. So I don't know, I'd probably charge her 300 for it. Um, and this one, I think it was more work, but um, same amount of time. It'll be 300 again. The, uh, the trouble is I've quoted for him, but I haven't split the quote into, um, I don't think I split the quote for the extraction and the work I've just done. So he's gonna look at the whole of that and say it was 600 pounds, and he's gonna say, oh well, you know, that's not even half of, of that amount. But, um, so I'm 186 quid a day, and I've got materials to add to that. Um, I'll probably stick that whole roll of 6 mil on, on there because I don't use it very much. As you see, I, I should have used singles there, and that last bit. Anyway, quite a, quite a hot day as well. So the latest is that the customer has texted me after seeing the pictures and said, can the cooker switch be moved around the corner? Well, that's got rid of the bitch, so um, now we've just got to find a when that comes out for the uh, spur. So I'll do a drilling and see where it comes out in the loft. 
and some conduit in. And then your uh, cooker hood, do you know what you're getting now, do you? Yeah. So do you know what, I mean, do you, what does it, where does it sort of, does it go right up to the top or what does it do? Um, let's get the fire away. Fiddle, 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 where's my fiddle? Where's the fiddle gone? So the cooker that's uh, in the middle here comes down, so the connection is going to be fused down to 6 amps ever, um, in the loft with a fuse spur unit up in the loft. The cable's going to come down here, I'm going to put a little box on there for um, connection of the cable. And in this side here, I'm going to do another chase just up into the loft from a um, isolator here, I think a two pole, yeah, two pole isolator here. Um, so that was what I'm going to do is drill an inch uh, with an inch diameter in a little bit there, so I can get. Uh, oh no, what I'm going to do is is take out the the box for Petrus and then drill up from the top of that into the loft. Um, the joist is here, so. Hopefully I'll be the other side of the, the joist. When this is dried as well, I will go over it with sandpaper. Bench. It's actually the cooker that I'm going to have to wire in um, at last thing. But um, just to show you what I'm going to do up in the loft. Um, I'm hoping I can get two 6mm uh, cables into that. It's looking a bit iffy, but still. So that's going to be fused down. Um, so what, I might have to join them there and come off in a fly. Two lots of 6mm to know if they're going to go in there. And my one supply to the four mil come out of there, which will go up to that isolator, back from the isolator and through this piece of conduit in the middle of the um, chimney breast for the uh, cooker to be fitted to later. Just check that it is fused. Um, yeah, it's got 13 amp fuse in it. So 
Okay, it only needs a six arm, it doesn't have a six. Arm. Anyway. So there's not going to be much room in here because uh, I've got the two 6mm twin and earths coming in um, which aren't very flexible. Then they've got one of them on each conductor, a fly lead out of that and then the 4mm into that. So luckily, I mean as it turns out, the fly leads I'm going to use are um, these. Which I got this morning, and they they, they ended up as they accidentally look like they've given me well they get they have accidentally given me flexible so there's, there's tiny strands in there that are flexible um, which is better for this application. to go up into the loft and put my uh, assembly in there, some screws for it, and then I need um, one of these for the little M3.5s and I need a posi drive unit for Posi drive unit for the to screw onto a choice. There we go. What do you think? Boring video, this, isn't it? Um, that. Cutters, strippers, big cutters. One of these. Can you think of anything else? I really don't want to be coming back down. To the loft. If you can see that but there's there's the conduit that comes in from the isolator here's the conduit that goes down in the center of the stack uh, to connect and give the feed to the um, can't remember any words at the moment um, you know cooker hood and then here is the loop that we're going to make the connections with so I can take that clip out. Okay, well I've I've got to um I've got to undo it to screw it, and it's the only place it can go is onto this chimney. So, uh, but I don't know if you can see. Uh, uh, there we are. That's it. That's the fuse spur coming out in four mil, and the cooker circuit going in there. Five o'clock, nearly five o'clock, so 1650. I've got here at 10. So, I'm going to wire this onto this cooker from here, and then there's your carbon extraction hood uh, connection there, and extraction hood isolator, super isolator, and and um, <coughs> switch. this is all that now ready for tiling.